Hi lovely souls, my name is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel. Today we have an 18 plus pick a card for you and it's going to be what do people sexually fantasize about you? So this is gonna be people that can't necessarily reveal this to your face, perhaps a teacher, a friend, a secret admirer, an ex. You will have the option to extend this video for an 18 plus juicy rated R version of this. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Now, if you are new to pick a cards, what you're gonna do is pause the video and figure out whichever crystal or pile you're drawn to the most. Go down below in the description box, find your timestamp, and I will see you all at your reading. Hi, pile number one. If you chose this crystal, this is for you. I haven't gotten my nails done, so I have one that's missing and it looks like I like don't have a finger, like I'm missing the tip of my finger. So just ignore that, but welcome to your reading. This is an 18 plus, you guys, so if you're not 18, just don't comment down below that you're not 18. Um, we will have the option to extend this reading for some more juicy details. This is more of a PG-13 reading and we're gonna get way more into it in the extended, which is more of a rated R reading. So if it resonates for you, I would definitely check out that extended, but let's get into it, pile number one. What do people sexually fantasize about you? And this is the taboo. This is the things that people cannot say to you. People that wouldn't say this to you to begin with. So I'm, I'm curious. I've only pre-shuffled tarot. We're gonna probably pull some more tarot oracle and get all into it. Let's get into it. So to start, you guys got the sun, the knight of pentacles in reverse, the ace of wands, or the, the king of wands, sorry, not ace, king, the ten of cups, the chariot, and the three of pentacles. All right, group number one. So what do people sexually fantasize about you? To start, I feel like People sexually fantasize about you, period. That, you know, it's, it's whether they do or they don't. And people sexually fantasize about you for sure. We have the sun card here. And more specifically, I love this deck. Um, just all the different little positions that are in this illustration. People fantasize about you in doggy, bent over on the floor. They fantasize about you in missionary, kissing you while they're deep inside of you. For those who are feminines watching or masculines, um, they want, you know, you to be deep inside of them. People fantasize all sorts of different positions. They fantasize about your body. Some of you guys might kind of pop your hip, like when you stand, you're like you have like a little attitude in your stance, like a little bump in your hump or <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called. Some of you guys have really long hair. For the masculines out there, you could have really long hair as well, or you could have no hair. I think it's like one of, it's one of the two. Um, you could be very muscular if you're a masculine, very tall, very broad shoulders. For the feminines, you're very curvy. I think you have like a little, a little poof, like a little like tummy, but I think it's like, I think it's nice. I think it looks good on you. I think you look very feminine. You have like really natural, boobs and you just look very natural um people fantasize about you because not only are you on fire and you're just flaming hot you're so sexy um but you are just a really cool awesome person and you 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 kind of deliver the whole vibe so not only do people sexually fantasize about you because you are so beautiful um, and sexy, but they also think that you would be like wifey or hubby material. They, sorry, I'm having like tripod difficulties. <laughs> they feel like you would, you know, be the whole thing, the whole picture. You're not just a booty call, even though you'd be a great booty call. You're the whole enchilada. And that's something that people really think about when they think about you, group number one, and sexually fantasizing about you. They also kind of want you so much because you are not available. There's something about you that is off limits with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, something about you that is, mm, you can't approach you necessarily with a relationship or you're not looking for a relationship or you're in a relationship already or you're married. Something about you is unapproachable. 
not in that you're unapproachable, like your energy or demeanor, but just like you are off limits somehow, maybe to someone, maybe that's why we have the sun card here to start. And it's a male, a masculine and a, a, a feminine, although it could be same sex as well, but it's just kind of illustrating that there is someone else in the picture possibly. It could also be for some of you that you just don't, you look like you're on, you look like ugh, you're just so out of people's league. So it's like people just think up front, like, nah, I can't have her or him. Nah, like they, they got it going on. Like I, I would never, they would never want me. And they sort of just kind of admire you from afar, but they like accept that they can't have you somehow. With the King of Wands, some of you guys could be this fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, strong Leo energy here. You could be a masculine or a feminine, but it could just represent your drive, your overall ambition. Like you're just on to new things. You're just on to the best. You're just working on um, yourself, your own happiness, your own fulfillment. And so people see that and they just think, you're automatically off limits. Some of you guys could really be chasing after a career. You could be very passionate about something. Um, this could also be the energy in which you bring out of people. Like they just get so sexually inspired and fueled by you because they fantasize about you so much and their fantasies are so strong and they're so detailed as well with the 10 of cups here. You know, people fantasize about the whole enchilada with you. Like I said, they, they feel like, you know, they feel like you're everything, your wifey, hubby material, your baby mama, baby daddy material, you're, you're ambitious, you, you're career oriented, you're just the whole thing. And so people really, really, they don't just see you as like, like I said, a booty call. They don't just fantasize about you naked and fucking you in all these different positions because they do, but they also fantasize about having like a life with you, having kids with you, having paradise with you, going on vacation with you, just like you dressing up for them, you going out with them, like all of it, like all of it, because you're all of it to everybody. And that's why they're so sexually fueled by you. So you might be even the type of person that has this beautiful sexual energy in which like you could be taken and unavailable. You could be fucking married and flaunting your marriage in front of everyone, but still, and yet all these people are after you. Like they, they won't give up. They won't quit. They don't care. They'll, they'll sit and wait for years and years and years till they have a chance with you because they, they think that you're worth it. They think that you're so worth it. Some of you guys have really nice legs. Some of you are really fit. You have like nice abs as well. Like, damn, what the fuck? You have abs and you have these nice ass quads and nice legs and the nice hamstrings. So some of you guys could be um, in the gym a lot, male or female here. And, and people must really love your lips because they really want to make out with you. Like they really want to experience kissing you and making love with you and just really making out with you and sort of seeing like, you know, just like how good of a kisser you are. They kind of want you to like get aggressive with them. They also kind of want you to be submissive. They want you to be on top. They want you to be on the bottom. They don't really care. They're just like very, very fascinated with, you know, anything regarding sexuality with you. I think also there's this kind of energy of them wanting to get you pregnant for the feminines out there. You might kind of give off like a pheromone or an aura, but they really want to like, people want to get you pregnant. They really want to put a baby in you. They think even if you had been carrying someone else's baby that you're really sexy when you're pregnant. For those of you who have had children before, um, they just, they may, they may fantasize about getting you pregnant. Like I said, you guys, group number one, there's something about you that is not just, you know, that you're sexy and people want to fuck you. It's like they want to do all of it. They want to go the full nine yards with you. All right, let's pull some Oracle. Ooh, we have soulmate and it kind of came out in reverse. I don't really read reversals with Oracle, but I do always take it as sort of like a sign. So people might have this like this huge passion for you that they always kind of feel connected to you on a soul level. They are like, I'm your soulmate. Like I promise you, maybe some of you guys have been in false twin flame journeys or something where people had convinced you that you were their soulmate. We have love yourself first. So people really also kind of what makes you more attractive and more unavailable is that you put yourself before others. Like you love yourself before anyone else. So that's another thing. Yeah. Unrequited love. Like you don't, <laughs> it's almost like the meaner you are, the more unavailable you are, the more standoffish you are, the more attractive you are. And so you might be like, I don't know what's going on. Why do they still like me? I'm such a bitch to them. I, like, I don't understand. And like, 
they like it. They like that you assert yourself that you don't need them. That's another thing that makes you super attractive. But overall, it's just you are attractive. There's this huge attraction about you. You might have like an ever reaching aura. It kind of stands out like six feet. But people just like, yeah, we have secret admirer. So a lot of you guys have secret admirers. Maybe that's the only thing that they can be because you are so off limits. And if you're not off limits, you're standoffish or whatever the case is, it's going to resonate from person to person um, and kind of differentiate. But people just sort of see you as like, ugh, like unattainable, really. Like influencer style, like just so sexy. People probably stalk your social media, um, but they think about you you know as like a full-blown fantasy honestly they want you on top they want to be inside of you they want you bent over some of you i'm hearing that you work with these people like they'll see you probably bend over um to get something papers or whatever you're at the printer i don't know i just imagine it's like a printer type situation <laughs> and they're like damn if only i could like take down her skirt or her pants and like fuck her or like if you're a guy like if only i could like get him to fuck me right here, like that kind of thing. But we have playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. So yeah, I feel like um, you have this playful nature about you and so on one hand, it's like, yes, you're the sun card, you're the 10 of cups, you're the chariot, like you're, you're, you're approachable. You're just not achievable for a lot of people. So I didn't mean to make it seem like you're unapproachable. I meant in like your energetic sphere, like it, they know that they don't have a chance with you, but not because you're not friendly or because you're not open to it. I think you guys are very friendly and very open to all sorts of people. Maybe a lot of you guys have, you know, girlfriends or guy friends, depending on your sex. If you're a girl, you have a lot of guy friends. So you're open to like having these people in your sphere but it's like they know that they can't like be with you like you definitely definitely friends of them i definitely see that energy here okay and then yeah secret admire like i said people really feel like all they can do is kind of admire you in secret from afar i'm gonna pull some animal spirit cards see what kind of like animal spirit your sexuality is being represented by lion oh my god and starfish was under it so my leo's out there hello hi you know you're just so flashy and flamboyant and bomb that you just really are ever attracting and people just they want to get at it they want you to starfish they just want you to lay there and they just want to fuck you real good all over the place ah I love it. And then lions. So yeah, you just have, some of you guys really do have long hair or big hair, or curly hair. You really do have that mane. People really like that as well. Um, but you're just kind of majestic, you know? So that's another thing that is very attractive about you. And you definitely get people's attention. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you're the prey. Sometimes you're the predator. We have baby mama. So yeah, people want to put a, put a baby in you. We have marry me. They want to put a baby in you. They want to marry you. I'm excited to get into the extended, y'all. We have it's over. So this is interesting. We were meant to meet. There's that soulmate card. Um, it's people really believe that, you know, they were supposed to come across you. So on top of being this very attractive person, kind of like an alien, like goddess type, um, god type, you know, amongst that energy, you're spiritual. I mean, hello, hi, you're here on a tarot card video. So people think, you know, people that are not necessarily as spiritual as you are just like, maybe you come across them and you teach them something or you shed some wisdom on them because you, you're not opposed to having a friend, especially if it's opposite sex. Like you don't care, like you might not fuck them and they might fantasize about you forever, but you know, you're not opposed to having them as a friend, having them in your life. So you might teach them some stuff like about tarot or spirituality. And then, then you got them more fucked up because they're like, damn, like I was supposed to meet her or him. I, I, we were supposed to cross paths. Like this is my soulmate. So you have people that are not even spiritual believing that they are your soulmate like type shit. With it's over, I feel like people feel like you, you, you reject a lot of people or you're not even afraid to cut people off, especially like people that you have friend zone specifically if they, they cross a boundary. 
But people love how you feel. They love your energy. Um, and like I keep emphasizing, if they didn't love how you feel, they wouldn't want to just, they, they want to fuck you. They want to make you breakfast the next day. They want to put a baby in you. They want to um, marry you. And then for my virgins that I'm already hearing, and for those who are masculines, just take it how it resonates. But yeah, they want the whole nine yards, the 10 of cups with you. They want the 10 of cups with y'all. You're my angel. People really do think that you're an angel goddess that just sort of like fell from heaven and they don't really understand like how you're even allowed to be here. And I want to be in bed with you right now. That's how like a lot of people's feelings towards you, group number one, that they want to be in bed with you. They want to be in bed with you and try all sorts of things. Some of these people I'm hearing like the, the energy of them, you know, probably trying to like, if they did have an opportunity with you, trying to last like a long, long time because they want to impress you and they want to fuck you and they want to try all sorts of different positions with you. Ooh, juicy. All right, so I'm excited. I'm going to get into the extended version. Um, this is going to be very, very interesting. So definitely meet me over there. That is linked down below. It's going to be a more rated R version of what I sort of touched on here. But in the meantime, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all in the extended. Hi, pile number two, welcome. So I haven't got my nails done. I'm gonna try not to get them too much in the shop. I'm like a little embarrassed about it. But if you chose this rock pile number two, this is for you. This is an 18 plus. If you're not 18, don't comment down below that you're not 18. <laughs> Definitely comment down below if it resonates though. You will have the option to extend this for some more juicy details. This will be sort of a PG-13 version and you will have the option to see a rated R version down below. We'll get even more into it and pull some more tarot cards. Pile number one was spicy. I really liked it. It was super naughty. I really, really enjoyed it. So you guys, what do people sexually fantasize about you? I've only pulled tarot. Let's get into it. To start, we have the motherfucking Empress. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, pile number two. What do people sexually fantasize about you? Well, to start, they think that you are gorgeous and beautiful and just a, a goddess. Um, some of you are a spiritual, mystical goddess, and people really enjoy your spirituality. Um, some of you guys could be, you know, um, tarot card readers, mystics, that whole thing. But I think some of you guys could be influencers as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily. It could just be that you are beautiful, just kind of genetically and naturally gifted. Um, some of you guys are slim, thick. You have these really beautiful thick thighs, nice legs, but you have like a really small waist and really small body. Um, people really enjoy that. A lot of people really love your face. That's why I said maybe you're like a model or some something on camera, or you should be at least because you're so gorgeous. Um, but you have a really beautiful face, really nice cheekbones, really like pouty kind of lips. Um, really nice like eyes. Some of you guys have this contrast between really, really light eyes and really dark eyebrows and dark hair. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I kind of see that for some of you. We have Taurus, Virgo here. We have Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So some of you guys could be that as well. You guys have really nice style too. Like some of you guys take a lot of precedence in accessory, accessorizing and like your jewelry and like what you decide to wear, like what kind of earrings and bracelets and necklaces and rings and all that stuff. And people really admire your sense of style. So that's why I think you guys are a little like inspirational, a little influential, quite literally. With the Six of Pentacles, there's something about you where you carry this energy that is just like subdued in royalty. Like it looks almost as if you've lived a very privileged life, whether that's true or not. And then it also sort of looks like you are just like royalty within your own, I don't know, your own kind of way. Like you you just deserve to be royalty. You deserve to have peasants kissing your, your feet and kind of to be sitting on this throne, sitting pretty. You do not look like the type of woman or man that should be doing dirty work. It's kind of the energy of like, if you are masculine or feminine, you're just like an empress or a, like a literal emperor. And people just sort of see that, see you that way. They just think that you should not be doing anything as far as busy work or, or like 
just chores and bullshit, real life stuff. Like you just kind of like are a boss. Some of you guys who are not slim thick, um, I'm also seeing a variety, could be very skinny, very like angular and long and skinny and tall. Some of you guys are very tall. Some of you guys are very skinny. Um, but people nonetheless really think you're gorgeous. They also think you're very mysterious as well. So um, if people see you out in public, they're very sexually attracted to you and your aura and your body and your vibe, but they can't really even see your face because you're wearing a mask. It's sort of the energy. They just know that you're like really beautiful up front. For the masculines out there, some of you guys could be older or up there in age and people just think that you're so sexy. Like it's almost like people that have known you for a while as well. So the older you get, the sexier you get kind of like a George Clooney vibe and you just like age like fine wine type type of thing. But you definitely nonetheless, masculine or feminine, you definitely make people kind of squirm. Like you make people want to um come towards you run after you like you get people very amped up very inspired they very horny as well i think there's a lot of people that try to get at you sexually on like a fast term basis meaning like they'll try and catch you at the bar or on the street or or whatever but they just really want to get up in there or like get fucked by you that's the kind of energy some of you guys could have tattoos as well i'm seeing i'm seeing that you either have no tattoos or you have lots of tattoos not really seeing like an in between um, but it's going to differentiate depending on who. So I kind of want to pull your Oracle and see what else we have there. We have very soon. You bring out something in people that they just kind of want to pounce on you is really this Russian rush all type energy. Okay, so some of you guys have been trying to manifest a soulmate and you've been wondering, well, where the fuck they are if you're so damn attractive? And they're coming actually very soon. Um, some of you guys have really been manifesting and calling in your soulmate. So stay optimistic about your love life because it is happening soon. You gotta weave through a lot of like the duds out there. I do see that you just bring a lot of, you know, sexual energy to the table. So there is a lot of people making offers to you. So you might like... So this is kind of the energy. It's like, yes, your soulmate is coming, but because so many people make offers to you all the time, it seems like their, their soulmate's taking forever to come, but that's not really the case. Um, they're taking a normal amount of time to come towards you, I think, but it's just because there's so many other people in your, in your face that aren't your soulmate that you're noticing the contrast. Um, that can be for some of you, but people are just very passionate about you in general, group number two. Wow, wow, look at that, soulmate, soulmate in a different deck came out, so yeah, some of you really are, you're fueled, you're, you want your soulmate already, you're like, where are they, and they're coming, they really are, like, as a, a separate note, for others of you, I think people just are like, damn, she must be my soulmate, or because you're so spiritual, and that kind of, like, connected with group number one's extended in this, but it's almost like, because you're this, like, spiritual being, um, you, you bring that energy out in people. People are like, is she my soulmate? Is he my soulmate? Like, I, I really like think so. Like, I really like them and that kind of energy. But there is this strong sexual aura to you where people are like, they're good in bed. Like, this person, I could fuck them and they could like withstand a lot. I think there's also that energy of you having like this great momentum or great energy to you where you could like be up all night getting fucked if they wanted to. <laughs> But sexual union, people think that if they were to really get with you in that way, they would just find and achieve absolute true bliss. I want to pull what animal spirit you are as far as like sexuality. Some people fantasize about just like serving you. Wow, we have Phoenix. Gorgeous energy here. Wow, group number two. Yeah, some people just, they, they fantasize about serving you, literally like sucking on your toes to like kissing up your legs to probably eating you out or sucking your cock. Just this energy of wanting to serve you like a king or a queen that they would dive into the ocean and find whatever oyster they could and they'd get a pearl out of it. Even if they had to chuck like 800 oysters, as long as they get that one pearl to give to you like as a gift just to honor you because that's how much you bring like something out in people where they just want to go the extra mile for you. 
with Phoenix, I think people, this could kind of be a symbolic of you and how people realize that you're someone who never dies. You're constantly transforming and evolving. Um, this could be that you had a very tough past, but you evolved from it in a very powerful way to the point where you do kind of dignify yourself and your demeanor and your aura, and you do have this royal air to you and your vibe. It could also represent that people will not fucking give up on you and they won't they just won't like you could kill them you could fuck them over or whatever it is they will come back for you is the energy we have believe in miracles so some of y'all are really like focused on um manifesting someone that is meaningful and someone that is right for you and you just keep staying in this energy because yes uh look at that yes they are coming like they really are manifesting this is really cool We have I'm so in love. So some people are just like so in love with you. They, they, they like, <laughs> they don't even know what to do about it. This could be someone that you have fucked before. This could be someone that you've like been talking to. Um, this could be just the general energy of people and how they fantasize about you. They're just like so in love with your body and your face and your look and your energy, your personality. We have I love when you give me head. So yeah, you guys have those DSLs, those dick sucking lips. We have not the right time, okay? So if you're wondering like, well, why hasn't this come right now, just yet? It's scary saying it's not the right time. We have, I'm thinking of you, okay? So some of y'all might have someone in the background. Um, we're gonna pull more cards of the extended. We're gonna get even more into the details of what people sexually fantasize about you with a different deck. So I'm curious to see what else comes up about this possible person some of you guys might have. Um, but this is very, very special, especially getting this Phoenix spirit card as far as what you're being represented by the animals. So really, really cool, you guys. Group number two, this is awesome, juicy, love it. I will meet you over in the extended version for a rated R version of this reading. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you. If that resonated, definitely comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell notification. I'll see you all in the extended. Hi, group number three. Welcome. If you chose this crystal, this is for you. I haven't gotten my nails done, so I'm like trying to hide my finger that doesn't have a nail on it and hide it. All right, so this is an 18 plus, okay? So if you're not 18... Just don't comment down below that you're not 18, but definitely comment down below if it resonates, y'all. You're gonna have the option to extend this for an even juicier, more rated R version of this reading. I'm gonna pull some more tarot cards and get more into it. All right, let's get started. So, what do people sexually fantasize about you? Group number three. To start, we have the High Priestess. We have Judgment. Them titties them titties for sure we have the queen of cups the ten of swords the ten of pentacles and justice okay so people fantasize about you and your titties for the feminines out there for the masculines they might fantasize about your abs your chest I think a lot of the feminines as well have a really nice chest um really nice abs I mean you guys have a really nice body is kind of what I'm like struck by. Like you might have like a big rack. They could be natural, they could be fake, whatever it is. And then a really small tummy, like you're like super ripped and like, like what? Like how do you have such big jugs and like a tiny, tiny flat stomach and you might have even like a big booty as well. Some of you guys are just like really perfect. Some of you guys are witches, mystics, um, tarot card readers, empaths all sorts of things light workers you guys are my fellow light workers out there you guys can be very very spiritual and because you're spiritual you're very mysterious some of you guys are a little eclectic a little out there a little weird you like to do your makeup kind of cool some of you guys are a little goth some of you might even rock a blue lipstick they don't even you don't even care you're just like i'm rocking blue lips today um but i think you guys some of you guys do like face jewels some of you have tattoos. You're kind of out there as far as like your look. You're very like eclectic, kind of alien style, Aquarius vibes, um, energy. So you, you mix up your look a lot. You might accessorize. Some of you guys have really dark eyebrows, very light eyes kind of energy I also see. Again, tattoos, accessories. Um, you guys are just like 
really, really, really cool and just so different and so original, so authentic. People really admire that about you. People sexually fantasize about you and your body. You know, they don't understand how your body is so perfect. Some of you guys have long legs and then a big thick butt and then a tiny small waist and then big boobs. Some of you are naturally like that. Some of you, I know what you're doing. Some of you guys have done spells, spell work for your body to put all the fat into your butt, into your boobs, like that kind of thing. I've done that as well. So you guys are just kind of a product of being able to be in control of your mind, body, and soul. And that's what's so alluring and attractive about you is that you're, you're, you're spiritual, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're sweet. I think also some of you guys are heartbreakers. With the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you guys could have it all, could have it made for yourself, or at least you have given that impression that you um, are wealthy or well off. Some of you guys could um, be married already and have a really big house. Some of you guys are just like wifey material, hubby material. Some of you could have maids quite literally. It doesn't have to be, but it just seems like you would or you're just the type to be like taken care of really. But you definitely break hearts in some sort of way. There's something about you that is just so ridiculously sexy. It's kind of the energy of like Miley Cyrus. Like she's so sexy and so many different looks to her as well so many different vibes she's gonna rock some green glitter eyes whatever doesn't care she still looks hot but she you can't have her like and you, she knows that you can't have her and so she's just kind of a fucking mess and the whole thing is a mess because like you want her but you can't have her not necessarily just her miley cyrus but just the vibe is kind of what i'm getting after and so people really feel that way about you. They could watch you on social media. They could definitely stalk you and want to like reach out to you, but they can't. You definitely, um, amongst being this like kind of sex symbol to a lot of people and how they want to fuck you and get at you and not even just fuck you, but like give you a life and all of that stuff. Um, amongst that, I think you, you also look like you hold the key. Like you hold some sort of manuscript to like, the ether world or the you know you, you just know some shit <laughs> there's just something about you that is very that knows something and that's that mystical element and aspect to you and that's what's even more attractive about you and it's just people can't get over that it's like there's just if it's not this it's that it's there's always something about you that has people running towards you drawing them in some of you guys could have really nice jaw lines and facial structures and features. And um, some of you could, could be like an androgynous beauty, like, you know, not in a insulting way, but just like you, you just have both qualities that are very sexy. Some of you have really broad shoulders, really beautiful lips. Some people fantasize about getting their dick sucked by you. They fantasize about making out with you, um, but they also fantasize about serving you. They kind of also fantasize about like you and like being in drama with you, like having some sort of beef with you because they would want your attention. No matter what kind of attention that is, they want it. They want you. Um, but they love your rack. They love your titties. They feel like some of you guys wear some sort of armband or you could have and it, it looks really sexy and really warrior-esque. Again, how you accessorize, how you dress is very original and people really, really like that. Okay, I think I'm going to pull some... Oracle. But yeah, you have a really nice body, especially from the side. Maybe you take some pictures in the mirror from the side. You kind of show off your titties and your ass, that whole thing. You have playfulness. There's something about you that is very playful and very funny and very dramatic. Some of you guys could have been called like a drama queen. And there's also something about you that's very wise and accepting and like you you have an open mind that's that aquarian or just even air sign energy like you're just you're down to hear anything you're down to talk about aliens you're down to you're just open to all of it and, and any of it and you're, it makes you even more attractive like you have this open mind open heart sort of policy um but you're down to like have a heart conversation a light-hearted conversation a deep conversation you don't really care a lot of people think that you're super worth waiting for and they're very passionate about you and, and they will do whatever they can to like get you. 
Um, so they think that you're worth waiting for because they think in some way, some form you are achievable that they could, you know, have you. Some people really want to put children in you. They really want to put a baby in you for the women out there. Um, to which that applies to, I know I get some comments about that, but it's just like whoever that applies to is kind of what people fantasize about. But yeah, you stir up something within people that just makes them like lose it. Yeah, so we got playfulness again. So there's something about you that is very, very playful and very funny. Maybe you're very humorous, you have a nice sense of humor, but people think that they'd have a really good fun, really fun time with you in the bedroom. Like they could fuck you and it'd be a good time. Like it wouldn't be so serious and so awkward that they could laugh with you and like just do all sorts of things with you. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So I think that you have this open-minded kind of policy. You don't criticize people, you just accept everyone for face value, for what they are and who they are, and people really appreciate that about you. Okay, so what animal spirit are you being represented by sexually? What animal spirit are you being represented by sexually? I'm kind of getting the vibe as well. Some of you guys are hippies or flower child, flower children, you kind of have that vibe. Whoa. I'm not going to pick that up. That fell in a very unachievable place. Okay, we have the black egg. We have the cheetah. Interesting. So you're rare. You're just rare, rare, rare is kind of the word. It's kind of that Selena Gomez rare vibe. And so people don't think necessarily that they can have you. Um, that's kind of interesting. I, I kind of really admire my subscribers and followers because all three piles, it's kind of the energy and I guess it's we're talking about fantasies here but it was all three piles is the energy of like you guys are not obtainable which I fucking love that <laughs> I really really dig that but yeah people think like um not only are you like rare um some people think they can try to wait and they'll get you and you're worth that weight um but you have this cheetah spirit like you're you're playful you're active you have great stamina a lot of energy you could be very young very athletic um and they, they just feel like in the bedroom you could go for hours and hours and hours like they want to fuck you they want to bend you over they want really you to suck their dick there's like a huge energy of that but i'm going to pull some more cards from a different deck in the extended and get more into like positions and what people would really want to do with you because i'm not really seeing that necessarily in this spread but i do see a lot of just like emphasis on your features and you as a person and, and all of it so let's get more into it in the 18 plus more rated R juicy version, the extended. Me All right, let's pull some of these channel messages and then we'll move over into the extended. What do people fantasize about you? People love how you feel. You've got them fucked up though. They might love how you feel like your vibe, your energy, some of them quite literally because they like actually have been with you before. We have, wow, no text back. So 10 of swords, I think that you ghost people or like you, you make them fall in love with you and then you cut them off or you ghost them or you're just not interested anymore. And that's that cheetah spirit kind of moving from thing to thing. We have not the right time. I'm really sad without you. Some of you guys really hurt someone. We have I stalk your Twitter. Definitely comment down below if you have a Twitter. I'm always so curious to see if that's like accurate or not. But yeah, I mean, it looks like you guys really have people fucked up and have them in your their feelings, and it's because they can't figure you out because you you harness a lot of power and a lot of control over them with that high priestess energy, and you know they just they keep waiting and waiting for you with judgment, thinking that you'll come back because they believe that it was like a destined connection. All right, group number three, I love you so much. I'm gonna get over into the extended version, and we're just gonna pull more cards, and it's gonna be a more rated R version of this. So. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you, and I will see you all in the extended.